Hey everybody, Larry here, Box Cars Garage. Hey, thanks for coming back and visiting. I haven't been in the shop too much. The uh, last weekend was the chop class, and I've been a little bit under the weather. So I decided to go ahead and come on in and get a little bit done, because a little bit done is better than none. Get myself all set up for getting back on this patch panel, making a couple of tweaks to it, and then um, cutting it in. But before I do that, you know I was extending that uh, subrail section that needed to go to that next kick up or whatever you call it um, that mounting provision right there I've got to have some subrail that goes from here to there and then it pokes on up I got that section roughed out before I left um, but I have not welded in this piece in the middle We'll just kick things off easy like and do that first.
so this might be worthy of a highlight. I was a little bit confused as to how I was going to tie in this uh, B pillar uh, here on the on the side. On the top of the frame, you've got um, there's a bolt application that goes straight down, so you end up with kind of like a an L bracket here at the at the bottom of that B pillar and then there's a hole in it and a bolt goes down. There's also um, a bolt for this outside area to go into the, uh, the frame. I didn't know how I was going to do it and I knew it needed to be integrated somehow within the structure of the B pillar and this is what I ended up coming up with. It's a piece of um, like eighth inch steel. It's pretty pretty heavy as compared to what I what I needed. And then so that eighth inch piece of steel, you can see it. It goes over to the area that I've recessed. That's going to be supporting the bolt into the face of the frame and. And it continues along. It's about eight inches long. And then I'm going to go ahead and weld it up to the underneath side of this plate, which is supporting this bracket. So that'll give me my mechanical tie in. Um, it'll be bolted there on the face, it'll be tied into this triangular gusset and that whole structure will you know then be in my mind integrated i might i might put in a couple of gussets here in this edge it's it's overkill and it's probably not needed but i might go ahead and do that just for giggles and uh i should be able to start thinking about buttoning this area up after i get that done and i can commence to getting back on install on my panel here. So the next day we're back on the 036 and um, all in all I had kind of a mixed day yesterday. I was really happy with you know being able to get the uh, the quarter tacked in and I was paying close attention to um, you know the alignment for the butt weld and I was going along and checking along the way and tapping keep myself on the path, you know, tapping it out and keeping it nice and level. Um, while I was maybe overly attentive on my weld line right there, the uh, the top of the car ended up sucking in, in this area right here. So I've got a old belly that uh, uh, has showed up here in this area, but I originally I had some damage in this area way back when you can kind of see the remnants of that damage here kind of indicated by the low spots when I was cleaning up the side of the car so to get myself out of this whole situation I need to stretch it out I need to planish my weld line because it's drawn in to a point to where any previously compromised area um, is wanting to show itself which is what made that suck itself in like that right there so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this area in a little bit of traction. I'm gonna push it out um, because it's not it's not in there very hard. I can I can push that out by hand. And um, while it's being held out, I'm gonna go along this weld seam here, and I'm gonna start planishing that, stretching this out, 
and um, hopefully relieving the uh, stress that has made this thing want to suck in. So let me get you up on the tripod and we are going to go after it. I believe we're going to go ahead and roll up the video here with that. And um, I'll show you what I got remaining on the particular repairs that we that we did here with uh, welding in the quarter. And uh, we'll talk about the way ahead real quick. So what I have left is I made this uh, wheel well lower area patch kind of like when I first got started. This needs a little bit of tweaking and some refinement and I've left the edge of this quarter patch. It's not welded in yet because I've got some work that's going to happen here in this area and um, it needs to go ahead and just hold off and be integrated here with this patch. So that's kind of wide open right now. Got to get back to that. but. Uh, you can see we're just marching around the car here. I've got, and we do have a little bit of gap issue here, um, body gap. I've always had this issue here in this corner area, despite my efforts in aligning, um, you know, this B pillar with the other B pillar, and I pulled measurements from the back to that area and whatnot. I'm not going to let that tie me up too much right now because um, I'm going to have an opportunity to sort that out with uh, some shims when I make the connection between the body to the chassis. I can see what shims will do for me. I also have a lot of work that's going to happen in reconstructing this A-pillar um, and locating the hinges on the A-pillar. That's a lot of work that's going to have a lot of variable, um, you know, potential impact to how the door is fitting. So there's no reason to get too worked up over this right now because this isn't the final final. So we're just going to, you know, look the other way when it comes to this, this tightness here. Um, and we're going to press on for the sake of science. We did, um, made a lot of improvements to the jam, reconstructed this whole upper area of the jam, and we need to go back and do some finishing work up there, but um, we're good to move on, which moving on is going to be the A-pillar. This bottom patch up to the uh, subrail area all the way down, and this will end up getting trimmed up, this excess material. So I haven't done that yet. 
Oh, and I probably got a little bit more planishing to do here in this area of the panel. It does feel pretty good right now, but I think that there's maybe a little bit left, so. Let's look on the inside here real quick. Kind of recap what we've done here. Of course, the, uh, the rocker threshold area, we've got that going. We need to work on the, um, the cowl repairs, but uh, we got the, the rocker pretty much squared away. We did our continuation piece to go to that next kick up. Here's how things are looking. Here's all that reinforcement I did on that brace. You can kind of get the idea of how I was doing that right there. That bottom of that brace was kind of just floating and it needed to be anchored. So I did that with that eighth inch steel there at the bottom. And then if you remember on the underneath side, um, I connected the plate that runs over there for the bolt connection on the outside of the uh, frame rail. So that all got integrated. Now, one remaining thing that I need to do is there needs to be a little 90 degree brace that goes from this surface area to this um, floor here. And that's where the bolt will locate and go through the frame but as you can see we are making progress in restructuring this whole car from the driver's side and uh, yeah so we're making progress so that's a good thing cars getting stronger So hey, thanks for watching the video. Um, hope you enjoyed the old 36 project here. It's been getting a lot of attention. Probably because people just can't believe that I would take something this bad and try to turn it around. But you know, you just never know. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys later. We'll make more happen on this 36 next time. See ya.